Hello everyone, Mr. Lion here, uh, and welcome to this video tutorial talking you through the Character at Home program and the Character at Home Pupil Passport. Firstly, I'd like to tell you how to access the Character at Home page. So, if you log on to the Northampton Academy website homepage and then click first on Learning from Home, you are taken to this page here. And then if you click on Character at Home, you will arrive at the Character at Home homepage. Now, this is where you will find everything you'll need to fully engage and complete the program. So you'll see on here, uh, we've got links to the online assemblies, the enrichment at home timetable, the leadership ideas, uh, the character lessons, links to TED Talks, and finally, the student passport. You'll also find some downloadable links at the bottom here and you can get your student passport by clicking this link. Here you have the Character at Home Pupil Passport. Now this document is very important for you to complete the Character at Home program. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go here and click to download here at the top and save that to your computer. Now this is in a PDF format. What this means though is that you have all of these editable fields where you can type in your name, your form group, okay, and those run throughout the whole document. Now on this first page here we've got our contents page and each of these things are actually links so you can click on one of these and it will take you directly to where you need to be in the document. So here's a quick example. There you go, that takes us down to this page here. And then on each page you'll find this little icon here of the house, which will take you back to the start of the document. It's just a useful way of getting through the document quickly. Also on this contents page, we have a link here to the Character at Home page of the Northampton Academy website. That's where we've just come from. So if you're just using the uh, document which you've downloaded and you think I need to use the website, uh, I need to download something from there, you can click on that link and it will take you there straight away. So, on this first page here uh, are all the character values. Now these character values have been, been included because you'll need to refer to them a lot as you are reflecting on the ways that you are building your character um, throughout this scheme. So the character values there, very important. You'll need to be constantly referring back to those. So what is the program? Well, it's like this. We want to continue to develop your character even whilst you're at home. Okay. Now there are five things that we want you to engage in. Those are the online assemblies, the character lessons, uh, enrichment activities, leadership opportunities, and TED Talks. Now we've broken this down into three levels for you uh, of achievement and so to begin to engage with this there are certain things you must do so just to run you through uh, at the bronze level you'll watch all of the online assemblies you'll have completed at least three of the character lessons you'll have done three of the enrichment activities you'll have done three leadership opportunities at home and you will have watched and reflected on three TED Talks. At the very top, you'll see this gold marker here, okay, and it's on those golds that you need to get to to achieve gold level. And this will all be celebrated when we return back to school, whenever that may be. So, what you'll do with that is as you complete things, you can just tick them off one by one. Um, if you print it out, you can do that by hand or you can do that in other ways and it's just so you can see where you've got to. Now really importantly before we return we want this signed off so you will return this document either by email uh, to your form tutor or you will print it and hand it in and we want a signature from yourself from your parent or carer and your form tutor will finally sign off to say yes they have completed to this level um, the character at home program and then we can 
give you your rewards for that and celebrate the fantastic achievements that you have achieved whilst at home. So talking you through quickly, we've got assembly reflections. Uh, two boxes, really simple. You'll just say which assemblies you watched and who gave them. And you put those in these, this box here. And then you'll pick three assemblies that I want you to reflect on in further details. You can choose uh, which three assemblies those are. And you'll put that in the three boxes you are given here. Moving on, we've got character lessons. Now, uh, character lessons, there are 12 available and they are all available from the website. So here, there's a nice link. If you click there, it will take you through the character at home lessons. You'll see all 12 there and they all match up to the um, booklet as well. I'll just show you this one first, the first one of courage. So all you need to do when you do the character lessons is go through these. Each one contains a video. You'll click on the link, you'll watch the video uh, and think about how the person highlighted here, in this case Coco Chanel, how does she show courage? Because this focuses on courage. Now there will be things along the, uh, along the uh, lesson that we want you to think about. The only thing you need to write, however, is when you reach the final page and you'll see this character reflection now this is exactly what you will find in your booklet if we go back here and then if we go back to our character lessons here we go so there's three interesting facts you'll write in the boxes easy 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 job done and you'll do that for each one Remember, to reach gold level, we want you to do all 12 character lessons. It's the same activity each time. Watch the video, read the information, and then reflect on what you've learned from that. That next brings us on to our enrichment at home. Now, this is our distance enrichment program, and it will work like this. We've got a two-week timetable, week A and week B. Just uh, for anyone who needs to know, we will be returning after the Easter break in week B, which means that we'll get this week first. Now, what will happen is each day on Show My Homework, the corresponding enrichment club will post an activity for you. You'll find that in the announcements. It will give you a description of what you need to do and what you could do. Uh, hand in should you want to to show that you've been involved in that but how you can evidence that here is if we go further down you'll have this table this diary okay and I've written examples in for you but on the day you've done the activity you write the date in you um, will then say what club it was what did you have to do and which character values did you use? So that's why we've included those character values at the beginning. So what character values did you use and how, how did you do that? Okay. Then, once you've done that, and you'll see there's plenty of spaces. So we want you to do as many activities as you can, but involve yourself in as many different clubs as well. There are six available each week, giving you a total of 12 with quite a lot of variety in there as well. So there should be something for everyone to get involved in. Next, we've got our leadership at home. So these are ways that you can show leadership within your household, okay? And that sort of, you've got things like cleaning, so chores, doing the washing uh, and things like that. But then we've got other things like uh, arranging a quiz, arranging a games night, so there's, again, plenty of things you can do at home to show your leadership. And just in the same way as you did with your enrichment, you'll create a leadership at home diary. And what we're looking for is that you take all of the leadership opportunities. So you do each of the activities, not one that you do over and over again, but you really try and get a variety and do all of those things whilst you're at home. Lastly, we have the TED Talks, and uh, these are talks that have been given and recorded uh, for TED, 
and here you will see um, what the title of that talk is, what it's about, there's a link to it, and then the values that are explored within that. All of these links work, so if you wanted to watch this one here, Ben Saunders to the South Pole and back, the hardest 105 days of my life, you click the link here, and it will open the page you need, and once it's finished loading and buffering, that will play. And you can just watch that video, and then once you've watched that video, you come back to your pupil passport. Again, you can use the contents, the link in the contents. I'm having a short problem here. Let's try this. Here we go. TED Talks. And we've got TED Talk Reflections. So it says here, you should aim to reflect on 12 TED Talks in order to achieve the gold certification level. And yes, there are 12 boxes here that you will need to fill out to get that gold level. Okay, so you just say what the TED Talk was called, who it was given by, and then answer these questions as you go. Okay, and then obviously again, you can go back here or go right back to the website through these links. So hopefully... This gives you an idea of what the Character at Home uh, program is and hopefully now you understand how to use the Student Passport as well. So I can't wait to see all the hard work you put in continuing to your character development whilst you're at home and we'll see you soon. Be safe.